Hey there everyone, this is Rayello. And Sashimi. And we've got Stubby, which you guys just saw there, and we've got Axel over here on lap duty. He's just trying to get comfy right now. Alrighty today, guys, we are here to unbox the brand new Liara to Sony Mass Effect statue. As you guys know, I'm quite the Mass Effect fan. 75% of my wardrobe consists of Mass Effect stuff. So, this one is from the Bioware Gear store, and I noticed the, the picture as when I was looking at the artwork on the box, that her... It looks okay. I hope she looks a little better than that. The Garrus statue from the same store was actually quite good, so I'm hoping that this was just an issue of a bad picture, so... Now that we've taken a look at the artwork, Let's dig into the box. Stubby, it's all down right here. Oh, Stubby settled down down there. Mm -hmm. This should be a really quick one, though, guys. She is just a polystone one piece, I believe. One piece. Probably just got to dig her out of her coffin. <clears throat> I am excited for this though, even with that picture, I'm trying to I'm trying to bump up my Mass Effect statue collection because I've honestly neglected Mass Effect uh, largely outside of like clothing. So I've got Morden on the way and I think later on this week we should be getting that new uh, the second run of the Omniblade replicas, the glowing ones. So Look forward to that as well if you're a Mass Effect fan. Okay, that's actually better than, I, uh, the, better than it looks on the box. The box doesn't really do her justice. We're gonna put her foam right there. We got just the right music. <laughs> the packet. So the face, it does, you can definitely tell it's like her, I think it's her Mass Effect 3 look. I love the art, the, uh, the energy that she's got going on here, the biotic energy. Liara has always been one of my favorite characters. Uh, every time I play through it, I have to pretty much fight myself not to romance her because she's just, I like the sciencey nerdy types and that's pretty much what Liara is. And she's not a boring human. It's got very nice details. The coloring on her face is actually way better as you can see. It's The picture on the box really doesn't do it justice. She looks like really blue on the box. But it's more subtle here. It's more of a gray blue than Def like a purple blue. Yeah, it's it's definitely more muted and subdued, which is what Liara's skin tone is. Because for those of you who may not be so aware, she's mad in the picture. I'm not sure why they they used the cool <laughs> picture, but I don't know why they used the mad one. Uh, but she's actually got really good. Pretty much the the the, the picture doesn't do it justice anywhere. Cause like, check out the microfiber weave. Like the Kevlar microfiber weave in the the pants is really well detailed. Uh, there's a whole lot of detail going all the way down to the feet. The shoes seem a little bit oversimplified compared to the rest, but oh, yeah, yeah, they kind of they seem really the texture on the side. Yeah, but outside of that, the rest of it, she's got a lot of detail going on. Like you can see the. The, the details and the, the texture in the weave on her uh, on her vest or her coat and the paint job for the head for her for her head tendrils is actually really good it's a beautiful gradient nice and sp the speckling is really good they even got her freckles I don't know if you can quite see the freckles her expression is pretty uh, pretty stoic but I mean in the beginning everyone um, you guys all know that in the beginning that's pretty much what Liara is is quite stoic 
she kind of becomes less naive as the series goes along, but she also becomes less, or she becomes more expressive as the series goes, but... I think it looks quite nice. The, the, the base is nice and weighty. It does have a lot number. There's only 2,000 of her. Looks like I got one of the last ones off the line. But the polystone feels good. She feels strong. Uh, really similar to Garrus, though Garrus is way, way heavier. But her base, she probably, with her base, she's about two, two and a half pounds, I would say. So she'll definitely keep your shelves nice and she'll, she'll keep, you could probably actually hold some stuff back. <laughs> bookend? <laughs> a bookend, yeah, pretty much. He's perfect for a bookend. Yeah. He's like built for it. But yeah, I, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. I, like I said, I got pretty worried when I saw the picture on the box. So Bioware Gear Store, I'd say you guys did a great job with this one. I would, however, maybe reconsider your picture process. Because <laughs> if you were to ever sell these on stores, if I were to look at this before I bought it on a storefront, I would probably turn away from it because of the picture. But we got a good product, at least in my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. Do you remember how much this one was? Um, the statues used to be exorbitantly expensive on Bioware store. Like, they used to really charge like three, four, five hundred dollars for these. Uh, Garrus here, uncolored, uh, was like seventy, and I think she was ninety or a hundred. So they're much, they've, they've toned down the price quite a bit. Uh, the older statues, I do believe, were a lot bigger. They were more like uh, one fives, like one five scales, so. But these are just fine. I don't really need, I don't have need to have Mass Effect's characters the size of Nergigante in there. I just, I just want to have some characters. So like I said, Morden's on the way. Replica, the Omniblade replica will probably be tomorrow, the next day. It'll be sometime this week. It's en route. And we'll be unboxing that one as well. So join us if you guys are Mass Effect fans or uh, if you just like cats, that kind of stuff. Outside of that, let me know what you guys think of the, the, the statue. Like, subs, all that stuff is up to you. What we do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local adoption and rescue organizations. If you can't bring an animal home with you, there's other ways you can help out those guys in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelter, see what they need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to give it, plenty of ways to show it. And speaking of love, guys, we love you. And remember to show your love to all those animals out there, especially as, especially as we enter the cold winter months. A lot of animals get stuck outside and need that help. So show them what you got, guys. We love you. Remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Axel. Bye-bye.